What's up you guys, it's Flipptronics. I'm going to be helping you guys troubleshoot if your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus is having a no service issue. So the first thing I always recommend doing is just doing a quick restart on your phone or leaving it off for a good, you know, 5 to 10 minutes. Um, if your iPhone's been on for anywhere from 150 to 200 hours straight, could be overheating, which would, uh, you know, cause it to have some issues. So try doing that. Um, some other things you guys can do, uh, go into your settings. Uh, what you want to do is click on cellular. Click on cellular data options, click on enable LTE, turn this option to off and then restart your iPhone. This is, uh, you know, worked for people so mess with that option a little bit. Um, another thing you guys want to do and is a big one is that um, check the SIM card out. Okay, so what you want to do is take your SIM card out, put it back in, but if you got a new SIM card recently um, and you're not using your old one, that can be an issue. So that's a, you know, a provider issue. So. Uh, you know, be aware of that. If you're using your old SIM card, you should be okay. But like, if you switch over to a new one, that could be an issue with your provider. So, um, you know, that's something to look for too. Um, another thing you guys could do is go into your settings, click on General, go down to uh, Reset, click Reset Network Settings. Try restarting your phone after you do that too. Uh, make sure that if you're having a no service issue, it's it could be an outage in your area, which is possible. So make sure that you know, it, it could be more than just your phone. You might just have an outage somewhere. Uh, another thing you guys could try to do is an iOS update, uh, you know, which could fix any bugs or glitches in the software that might be causing this issue. Make sure airplane mode's not turned on. Sometimes you accidentally hit that, um, which could be causing some issues too. Um, and then the last thing I would say, you guys, if you're not able to get any of you know, get it working after trying all these, you know, different things. Maybe just take it into an Apple store and have them look at it. Maybe they could figure it out a bit quicker. But I'm going to leave the, um, you know, tips for what you guys can do in the description box. You can go over them. But I think if you mess around with it enough, you'll get it to work again. Um, if you want to message me, feel free to. But as always, guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.